Hello. We are now finally in a position where we can answer the question that was posed in the video in the planning quiz at the start of the week. In that video, we discussed what we had done thus far in the module. We talked about the programs that we had written to calculate various statistics from data that was given. In particular, we talked about the programs for calculating the mean, how many times we've got a particular result, and last but not least, how to sort the data and plot the cumulative probability distribution function. We then discussed the probability theory that we had introduced in subsequent weeks and the various types of random variable that we have studied. We talked about how all, all these random variables have probability mass functions and how these probability mass functions are functions of one or two parameters. In this video, we are going to come to what we have been promising all week, namely how do we estimate the parameters of the distributions by sampling. In other words, what can we do to get the parameters of the sample distribution if we are just given a series of samples from the distribution? We are going to introduce various methods for doing this, but the first method that we are going to use is the so-called method of moments. This method is based on the fact that we studied uh, on something that we have studied at length in these exercises. Namely, that if we calculate a sample mean, this is an estimator for the expectation of the underlying distribution. More broadly, we have seen how we can calculate an estimate for any moment of the distribution by calculating a sample mean. Now, we know that the true value for the moments of the distributions are given by the expression of the top of this slide. We have seen how we can use this expression, or more accurately, the moment generating function, to generate expressions for the expectations and variance, or any other moment of the distribution, for our various types of random variable. The expressions we have found are simple functions of the parameters of the random variable. For example, we have seen that the expectation and variance of a Bernoulli random variable are p and p times 1 minus p. These are functions of the Bernoulli random variable's parameter, p. Similarly, the expectation and variance for a binomial random variable are np and np times 1 minus p which are again simple functions of the two parameters of this distribution n and p. In the method of moments, we get the parameter of the distribution by the equating the expression in terms of the parameters we derive by calculating the expectation using the formula at the top of this slide with the estimate of the expectation we get by calculating a sample mean. We can then rearrange the resulting expression, if necessary, in order to get an expression for the parameter that is a function of quantities that we can sample. For a Bernoulli random variable, this process is particularly simple. As the expectation for this type of random variable is equal to the parameter of this distribution, any sample mean that we calculate is an estimator for the parameter of the distribution. If this sample mean is calculated using by taking a small number of samples from this distribution, the estimate will be accurate but not particularly precise. If, however, a large number of samples are taken when the sample mean is calculated, the estimator will be both accurate and precise for a Bernoulli random variable. To summarise then, in the method of moments, we estimate the kth moment of the distribution but using the expression shown here. At the same time, we derive an expression for the kth moment that is a function of the parameters of this distribution. This expression is equated with the estimate that is obtained by sampling. 
The parameters of the distribution are then found by rearranging the resulting expression. For a Bernoulli random variable, this procedure gives the following simple result. For other types of random variable, the idea is the same, but the process is a little more complicated. The quiz and exercises that follow will help you to apply these, the method in these cases as well, however. So good luck.